Hey YouTube fam, it's your girl Leah back again with another video. In today's video, as you can see from the title, is just my top home and lifestyle items. Now, recently I did a home tour video. If you did not watch it, I will link it up above because you missed a treat. You guys who asked me about where I got this from, where I got that from in my home, when you follow me on Instagram at leolevon89, you got your answers in said video. But today's video, that video was just giving you a tour. This video is breaking down each item that I got and telling you the items that I have that I feel like you really really need like there's some items in that video that you know ain't in this video and they don't make the list but some items are very affordable and very much so items I think you need in your house so when I say very affordable if you follow me you know I'm a cheap person but my home don't look cheap and that's the important thing over here my home doesn't look cheap so I'm gonna be doing home things and I'm gonna throw in a couple of lifestyle items you guys if you follow me on Instagram again no I've been loving some little fashion pieces here and there from Amazon so I'll be talking about them in this video and this is in no particular order I just went through my Amazon list and it probably will be in the order of like what I bought more recently to what I bought more in the past just because I was like what's my home oh I love that oh I love that looking at my Amazon order list and again every price I will list will also be the list of the price when I bought it Amazon changes prices sometimes daily on items goes up two dollars goes down three dollars whatever the case may be makes no sense but I'll list the price when I I personally bought said item and of course I can't hold up every item but I'll flash of course to this item and the first thing and the first item that I love so much are my floating shelves in my bathroom they are the high and mighty tool free floating shelf now they're tool free in the fact that you're supposed to not need a hammer or anything to put the shelves up they're supposed to be able to hold a certain weight and I think that's 15 pounds I'm very weak so it probably is just the me thing but I I did have to use a hammer my apartment said as long as I don't put any holes in the wall that are bigger than what a dime size then I'm good to go it makes only a tiny indentation in your home so if you're somebody who's worried about like not getting your security deposit back I don't know your rules on what size holes you can have but if you're worried about sizing of holes it makes such a tiny minute hole in your wall and again if you own your home I think this is a great option because floating shelves can be a pain to put up these shelves were so easy to install like if I can do it and I'm not that inclined with like hammering things into wall making sure things are level and all that and I did it you're going to be able to do it so I think the high and mighty floating shelves is going to make your home just pop they do have them in white and I think they have them in one other color but I think you can spray paint them too if you want to like make them a funky color now the next item that I 100% believe you need is the no no bracket especially if you live in an apartment now this might be just geared to my apartment people but one of you guys one of my amazing subscribers told me about this I have to say you changed my life because I wasn't aware of what I was going to do with my patio exit doors I wanted kind of curtains up there I wanted something but again it's such an odd thing that I you guys know if you watch my DIY curtains video for my room I have DIY curtains that I put up using command strips but it's a little bit shorter a distance and the curtains are a lot lighter with balcony kind of patio curtains I wanted blackout curtains so they weigh a little bit more but you guys were like get the no-no bracket because you're gonna be good to go I got that no-no bracket and it changed my life all it does is kind of fit over kind of the bar and again if you have an apartment and you see what I'm talking about right now in my own apartment if you have one of these type bars all you got to do put that no-no bracket over it put your curtain rod on there put your curtains you good to go it takes no time at all very cheap product and it's only gonna fit if you do have this structure so it's not gonna fit unfortunately for every single you know apartment type I know my old apartment had French door so it wouldn't work for this unfortunately but if you do have one of these in my apartment it's kind of older so a lot of older builds have these a lot of new builds don't have these as much they've gone to like French doors and kind of like one balcony door type formats but again love my no-no bracket thank you guys so much for your suggestion and if you have any suggestions for me again for anything else that you saw in my house tour video and you think I need to get it from Amazon let me know down below because I love your suggestions clearly next my plant pots you guys asked me where I got all my plant pots every single plant pot that you guys saw in my room tour house tour apartment tour whatever I titled that video is from Amazon I've never bought a pot from anywhere but Amazon they have such cool amazing affordable plant pots definitely tailored to whatever your apartment need is and that's the thing I like is that 
that you know you go to Target and you'll see certain things but when you look on Amazon you can kind of tailor it to what you specifically are looking for and everything I'm talking about I'll link down below too but for this specific category I won't list every single plant pot that I have I'll just kind of maybe list my favorites. Now the next thing in my apartment that I love that I got from Amazon is my dining chair. So if you saw my dining table I got that from Big Locks and they have stools that come with it only backless stools which I got two of them to go up under my bar but my actual chairs that surround that table from Big Locks I got from Amazon. Now they're blue I love them so much easy to assemble chairs. I only bought two at first because I wanted to kind of see how it looked. I don't know what I would have done if it looked bad maybe unassembled it and returned it back to Amazon but fortunately I like them and my mom was like hurry up and order the other two because this is Amazon you know how they do it could be out of stock tomorrow and I went ahead and did but to me they are very affordable they're very comfortable really love my dining room chairs as well as I'll just focus and hone in on another thing that's in my dining room my bar cart is from Amazon as well this is a bar cart that you'll see pretty much everywhere though before when I was supporting Wayfair I saw it on Wayfair I saw it on Amazon I saw it on uh, pretty much every site that sells home things has this bar cart in different colors they have maybe the gold one I really wanted one that had a see-through kind of feel so it was kind of clear not kind of black tempered glass like you see on mine but I finally just it was so cheap mine was so affordable the other ones were like 50 60 dollars more so I decided to go for mine and I really like it so it's a bar cart for me it's also kind of a coffee cart as well but again love my bar cart Amazon also, my two side tables are from Amazon as well. Now, I got my coffee table from actually Ikea. And the bad thing about it is they did not have end tables to match. I was so pissed off because, of course, you want end tables when you get your coffee table. And Ikea is usually so good at, about having matching pieces. So having a coffee table for your end tables and all that. They didn't. So I went on Amazon and I found the end table. Well, first I bought an end table that I really didn't like. But the second time to try them, I bought the end tables that I currently have. I bought one. Of course, I always just buy one thing from Amazon because I'm scared it won't look right. But it looked right. So I bought the second one. Now, it is black. I have the black one. My coffee table itself is kind of black with a little bit of brown in it. So it matched perfectly well enough. Easy to construct. Easy to build. Very affordable in my opinion for end tables so my end tables love them from Amazon now I always get questions even before my house tour about my chairs in my home uh, both of my chairs the chair that I'm sitting in right now and recording in is from Amazon as well as my beauty vanity room chair that's over to the right of me I get a lot of questions about that chair more specifically than this chair this chair I love and it's more comfortable to me because I'm sitting here filming for you guys a lot of the time and it's also my desk chair when I'm working so when I'm working eight hours a day I swivel this chair around and it works well for me it's very comfortable my back feels very relaxed I can lower it and kind of you know heighten it as I need this is the highest that it goes so that chair I get a lot of questions about like I want a desk chair is that comfortable it's comfortable but it's comfortable for me like doing my makeup and that's it that's not a chair that I would sit in eight hours of day that's just a quick like I'm doing my makeup gonna be in it for one hour max just because it doesn't have the height again it's kind of a lower chair it doesn't have the arm rest either the arm like rest isn't comfortable but again I'm never really resting my arms when I'm sitting in that chair I'm doing my makeup in that chair so it's a comfortable chair it's just not a chair that I would suggest for like your work your desk chair you're gonna sit in for multiple hours hours chair but it's cute white was of course my aesthetic was the thing I was going for both great chairs but both affordable chairs in my opinion as well now another home need love 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 my echo dot so much so that I have three in my home the one with the clock now I bought the first one when they kind of have first come out and when I mean they first came out not the first ever echo dot but the one with the clock face I kind of got it early on um, because I realized in my home I didn't have clocks um this was before I had my apple watch this was, so my only kind of clock was either looking down at my phone or looking at the stove or walking to the stove and microwave so I was like I need some kind of clock in my home um so I bought it and I 
loved it so much that I bought one for my room. So when I wake up in the middle of the night, when I don't have my watch on and I don't want to look at my phone, I can just glance over, see what time it is, and I'm good to go. Now, I have a lot of friends. I have one friend in particular who was like, I bought it. I Echo Dot because of you, girl. But then I realized it's not the one with the clock face. And I was like, you got to get the clock face one. That one changed my life. When I first got my first ever one, it was kind of expensive. I think it was like $59.99 when I got my first one, when they had first come out with the clock one. But now I think they will award the price of the clock one. And I think they've made it distinct on the site. Like you could get caught up and think you're buying a clock one back in the past and not get the clock one. Now I think they make it very clear that you're getting the with clock. And I think they've come down $20 on the price. So definitely get you an Echo Dot so you can, you know, turn on your lights like I, I do it all the time. I don't want to say the words right now because I do it so much on Instagram and I forget. I don't want you guys' A-L-E-X-A going off, but my lights are pretty much controlled by my dot. Listening to my, you know, podcast while I'm doing my makeup, while my phone can be in another room charging so I can have it when I'm reading my notes. It's just so awesome to have. Next thing I love, my cameras. Now, I have two cameras in my home, which I got when I first moved in here, just because when I first moved into my apartment, I traveled a lot. And I don't know my neighbors at that point. I was like, I'm moving to a new place and then they're gonna automatically see me with suitcases every single week. I don't know these people. Not to say I live in a dangerous neighborhood, but you will never know nothing. So I have um, my cameras, which I got from Amazon, which I love, very affordable. They're technically like baby cameras, so you're supposed to watch your babies with them, but they're very sensitive. They're very motion detect. They can pick up a lot of movement. Like even when in North Carolina, we had that earthquake a few weeks ago, um, it even picked up a little bit of the movement that was happening with the earthquake and it triggered the camera so even the slightest movement it can pick up it's really good now too now that I have Winnie and I have my dog when I'm like leaving the house I just want to check in on her which in hindsight I never really checked on my other dog who I have for six years and she somehow did well and fine at home but I think Winnie being a new dog I'm more like oh my god is she okay Okay, she's just laying in the same position for 10 minutes. So again, I love my cameras, very affordable from Amazon. Get my little alert, comes to my watch now, comes to my phone, like if anything moves, I've never had like, you know, strangers come, but if like maintenance said they were coming at a certain point, they'll like look at the camera and be like, hey, we're just here to fix something. I was like, yeah, yeah, I know y'all are because I'm watching you. I know you're not in there still enough because I can see you. And that's another cool thing about it too, is like you can, you know, speak if you're like away. So that is my one of my favorite things in my home. Now the next two things I guess are my bed and my mattress. My bed and my mattress both from Amazon if you saw my video. Um, my mattress I'm not a stickler for mattresses so I'm not somebody who needs like a soft cushiony like it has to be the most plush mattress. I, when I was growing up when I was a kid I used to and again there was a bed right here. I used to take naps on the floor at my grandmother's house and when she would catch me she would be so mad at me. She was like there is a bed right here. It's a queen size bed. Very plush. Very comfortable comfortable because she loved a comfortable mattress she would be like cooking downstairs I'd be sleeping on the floor and I just like like kind of stiffer mattresses so I've never not to say this mattress I have now is stiff it's just to say I've never been a stickler that I have to have like go in a store feel a mattress so um, my mattress is from Amazon again not a it's probably more on the firm side of a mattress but it's not like a super like stiff mattress so it's one of those mattresses where of course they send it to you in a box and then it kind of comes alive when you take it out of the box this is my second time having a mattress like that I actually love them again I'm not a stickler for mattresses though but it was a very affordable mattress as well as my bed frame also from Amazon uh, my last two I think beds have been beds that don't require a box spring type of a thing so my mattress goes right on top of the kind of bed that you guys saw in my video. I um, love my bed frame. Now the next thing is something you guys have seen me in all the time. This is like my one, I guess, clothing item that's making this a video, but it's a clothing item I have like six or seven times, and it's all my jumpsuits. You guys, if you follow me, know in during quarantine, jumpsuits have my thing. I'm not going nowhere. I'm really not going nowhere. And when I do go somewhere, I still wear my jumpsuit because it's comfortable. I'm all about comfort. It's comfortable enough for me to sit here eight hours and do my job. It's comfortable enough for me to walk my dog. And it's comfortable for me to go to Zoe's kitchen and get my steak kebabs. It's a comfortable outfit. So it's an outfit that I bought six times. It's just this jumpsuit. Again, I have it in striped black. And now I have long sleeves because we're going in the fall. And your girl was like, I'm still going to be wearing my jumpsuits. 
I love my jumpsuits from Amazon. I get the small in every single one. I get questions about that on Instagram. What size do I get? I get small in them just because they run kind of bigger on me, at least for me. They fit kind of loose at the bottom. I'm kind of smaller in the bottom. It's kind of bigger at, up top, but they still fit very comfortably. And my last item is just this pair of glasses and you're probably like why do you need glasses are these reading glasses no these are blue light glasses that i recently have been seeing going all over like instagram and youtube videos have been like sponsored by this or like instagram posts have been sponsored by these companies so much so that i was like want to y'all influence me to buy them but i'm gonna buy the cheaper versions first to see if they're good and what they actually are is you know we look at devices all day and i feel like i look at devices more post rona than i did pre rona just because i think when i was in the office at least i could break up the day a little bit by like talking to other humans and like seeing them in person i feel like at least two hours a day i wasn't looking at the screen like dead on i would be like in meetings with people in the room i would be like in my manager's office in my co-workers offices so i could like be around people now i feel like all eight hours is strictly me looking at a screen me looking at a phone if i'm in a meeting it's a zoom meeting and all that so i feel like i I have been more screen focused recently so I do have the blue light glasses which are supposed to kind of they don't change anything so my sight isn't different than what my sight is I have 2020 vision just normally so it doesn't like make things bigger or it's not like reading glasses where I might enhance some things it just really is supposed to block out that blue light glare that comes from looking at you know electronic devices all day so have I seen a major difference I've only had it for like two weeks so I haven't necessarily seen like a huge huge difference as of yet but I do list this on here to give you guys cheaper options because I do know so many places online retail these for like 20 30 bucks and I just wanted to highlight just maybe before not trying to take anybody's bag who has sponsorships with these companies like it's charging like 30 40 dollars i just want to let you guys know that before you go out there and buy blue lights and test them out by spending like 40 dollars try like use some amazon glasses and see how they work for a little while and again i have these i got a two pack so this is i have them in these kind of tortoise color as well as the black color as well so again that has been my amazon loves I love these things from Amazon. Now, if you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Even if you didn't like it, please give it a big thumbs up. We want all the love and support over here on this channel. Make sure that you're subscribed to my channel so you don't miss any of this good content that I feel like I produce for you all out there. Make sure that you guys are following me on Instagram at lelaron89 so you can keep up with my shenanigans in real time. And I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Steady on time, yeah.